Coming up in today's episode of the Inspiring Psychologist podcast, I am guiding you through two important steps that can help you think about weathering the storm on your journey to becoming whatever type of aspiring psychologist you fancy being. If you're looking to become a psychologist, then let this be your guide. With this podcast at your side, you'll be on your way to being qualified. It's the Aspiring Psychologist Podcast with Dr. Marianne Trent. The first of today's Marianne Summer Sound Bites is all about embracing resilience. Now, before you glaze over, let me tell you what that's not. Embracing resilience is not about condoning bad or substandard treatment from others. And whilst you might well have heard it said that a diamond is a chunk of coal that did well under pressure, it's actually not true that diamonds are made from coal. They apparently do share some of the same properties, but they are not the same. There's loads of, there's loads of proverbs, isn't there, that what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Um, but really, you do not need to be condoning or putting up with too much stress, too much pressure, too many tasks on your to-do list. If the temperature of the water feels too hot, it's okay to get out and to let that be known and to think about how you can make that a more pleasant and tolerable experience for you and that's why supervision can be really useful too do bear in mind the free supervision shaping tool on my website www.goodthinkingpsychology.co.uk forward slash supervision but i think it can be useful to think about the resilience that comes from some of the natural ebb and flow that will come with our lives and that will come with any of our careers. Those ebbs and those flows, those setbacks and failures are a really normal part of any pursuit and we can absolutely embrace the resilience that comes from viewing these challenges as opportunities for growth and learning. What does it show up for you that might give you new avenues to explore, to grow and to reduce those Achilles heels that you might have? How can we use what we might learn on our journey to becoming a psychologist as stepping stones to actually help us to become more effective psychologists in the future? I would love your thoughts on this. Do come and join the free psychology group on Facebook. It is the Aspiring Psychologist Community with Dr. Marianne Trent. Let me know what you think. I will be back along after this quick break. Hope you enjoy the jingle. Reflective accounts of mental health professionals on the way to getting qualified. So many tips and lessons to learn from. So many things that you can try. The aspiring psychologist. Welcome back. Do remember the upcoming dates for the free compassionate Q&A. So as you can see on your screen, we have the first of those coming up on Monday, the 4th of September, 2023, and that starts at 6 p.m. A replay will of course be available too. And the best place to find the replay is Dr. Marianne Trent on YouTube. The second of the sessions is Tuesday, the 3rd of October, 2023, also at 6 p.m. Again, a replay is available. And the third and final session to support application season for the Declan side, but also Ed side is also a similar time of year, is going to be Tuesday, the 7th of November, 2023, at 6 p.m. Because of the nature of podcasts and YouTube, you might well be watching this out of sequence from the order I created them. But the replays, if the dates have happened, will be available on my YouTube channel, Dr. Marianne Trent. And the final point for Marianne's summer soundbites for today is all about seeking support and mentorship. 
it's about reaching out for support from your peers, your supervisors, from maybe even past supervisors. That's something I've always really benefited from or other professionals in the field. It might be that they're not psychologists, but they're people that you respect and you can grow by watching and engaging with. I've always really enjoyed working closely with my CPN colleagues and with my speech and language therapy colleagues and even in the past physiotherapy colleagues too. I believe that connecting with really like-minded people and even sometimes people that might not be like-minded can be transformational to us and our growth and the way that we're able to impact and affect change for the people we work with and the clients we serve. And it's all part of the journey, you know, some of the people I've met along the way, I still think so very fondly of and I'm still in contact with too. So it's not just about the tangible benefits, you know, the medals that you've you've acquired during your your rise to being a qualified psychologist sometimes it's about the small things that stack up and give us day-to-day -day enjoyment and for me a lot of that has been with my peers and my colleagues if you're struggling to find your tribe at the moment or if you want to supercharge your tribe do consider coming along and joining the aspiring psychologist membership which is led by me you can find information about that either in the show notes by clicking on the link in any of my bios in on my social channels or if you're watching on youtube it will be in the description with this video it's 30 pounds a month with no minimum term and people do say wonderful things about the membership and how helpful it has been to helping them get their foot in the door and their bums on the seats to become trainee clinical psychologists I hope you found this episode of Marianne's Summer Soundbites really useful. Well done for making the time to commit to your own learning and growth. I'll be back along with the next episode of the Aspiring Psychologist podcast from 6am on Monday. Take care, be kind to yourself.